Hi, it's Zena, a Warthog Princess, and welcome to another Vera Bradley haul. This comes from two different sales. Actually, no, it's all from the 30% off sale, but 30% off plus a $20 coupon, if you play it right, do some good Vera math, ends up being about 50% off, which is a pretty good deal for current items. So, here goes. First thing, before we get into the haul, I have to fess up. I'm not afraid to say when I make a mistake, but on my last haul, I was talking about this extra large campus backpack in Performance Twill. And I was um, talking about the chest strap because it was all the way up in my neck. If you haven't watched that, it's kind of comical. Um, but then one of my viewers said, hey, it looks adjustable. Guess what? It is. It's adjustable. So I feel like a real idiot. But the truth is, see this slide right here? It actually, both sides, they slide up, which is where it was set when I actually did that video and you can move it all the way down here. Now, hopefully that stays in position while you're using the strap, if you're using the strap. But anyways, it fits great, it works just fine. Thankfully, it wasn't a showstopper, but that's always better to have things work the way they're supposed to. So, just thought I would share that, and that is great news. All right, next item I got. This is actually not Vera, but I'll tell you why I'm sharing it, because I've been on a Heather Gray kick, in case you didn't notice. Um, and all surrounded one crossbody and a backpack, and I had to get some accessories to go with it. Anyway, I found this item on Amazon. And what this is, is a, it's basically a travel wallet or travel wristlet. You have a pocket right on front, which is great for like your boarding passes. And then inside, and this is RFID, which is great. Inside, it can hold up to four passports, or which for me would be a passport, a little notebook, some other random things. Um, then you have another place for like your boarding passes and whatnot. Lots of card slots. You have a place to put your key, which also clips off. And you have more card slots, plus two big slips and a coin thing. So pretty much you could use this as your all encompass to and from or travel wallet. Honestly though, you could use this as an everyday wallet. It's kind of big, but it certainly would hold your phone easily. Here's my big 6S Plus, and you could put it not that you would carry it on the outside, but you could put it quick access, or you can put it anywhere inside. Fits nicely in any one of those slips. Well, not any one, the top one, it wouldn't fit. Would fit all the way up to the third one though. And you can put it certainly in the slip in the back. Anyway, so I just thought I'd give it a try. It was a great price. I don't remember what I paid. I could look it up if you wanna know, but it was pretty cheap and it matches with my bag. So let's compare. This was the backpack. This is actually Lighten Up. This is not reactive, but this is the grand backpack in Lighten Up. It was a special edition, I don't know, maybe it's a tester. It popped up and then disappeared right around Christmas time last year. But this is a very good match for it. And if you remember, I did the Cinda B thing, that matches with it all as well. And then, I'm gonna put that aside. And then from Vera, now back on track, I bought this, what is this called? Reactive Cosmetic Set in Gray Heather. There's the two parts to this. So this is like a large cosmetic. It's actually the older style, just simple, one big shape, except that it's made of reactive material, which is water repellent. And it has the clear portion like the VBU Cosmetics. So if you like that, you'll probably like this. And then of course it still has a patterned interior, which is also plastic on top and it's actually oh I was gonna say it's the same piece of plastic all the way down I can't tell but, but it's it's a nice size it's a great size for like travel and because it's like waterproof all around it's great and then the smaller piece and this is actually really why I bought the set to be honest was I wanted this more of a medium size cosmetic piece and these are a little bit rigid honestly I assume that they will wear in a little bit and loosen up but if they don't, they're still great. And this one also is plastic lined and it is reactive. So it has your little reactive 16 bottles per yard of fabric note tag. So there you go. And the match is really great with the backpack, of course. But that's not all I got. I did finally get the crossbody. This is the reactive hipster. I do have one of these. I got it in beach toil from the paper store exclusive pattern 
But I liked it so much that I thought, well, okay, I have a backpack, I have a few accessories, I should get a crossbody bag for those days when you want to be a little bit more subdued. Not that there's a lot of them in my life. I mean, hey, look what I'm wearing. But anyway, I like this bag and let's take a quick look at it. It's pretty simple. It is a slouchy bag, but it's reactive. So it's water repellent. It's got the chunky zipper on top and I've mentioned it before. I don't have a problem with the chunky zipper on a bag like this. I just think it's a little more informal, so I wouldn't want it on my more fancier bags, uh, but it's perfect for this. Anyway, inside you have the patterned interior. You have one zipper, and then on the other side you have two mesh slips. Now, it's not ideal that they're mesh, but it's fine. And on the back, you have a big zipper pocket, zips all the way across, and you have a side pocket, which is pretty big. Let's see. Oh, that pockets. Ooh, that's interesting. It almost feels like it could go. Huh. Okay, this is weird. But because this is all loose in here, look, right now, my hand is in the pocket between the zipper and the main compartment. But you can actually flip it around and put it on the other side. So now it's between the mesh and the back wall. Huh. I'm not sure I like that or dislike it. Kind of seems like it should be tacked in, but whatever. Anyway, it easily fits a phone or much bigger objects. So, <laughs> all right, so that is the bag. The only other thing is it's a nylon strap. It is adjustable. It's the kind that if you weigh this bag down, it's got, it's not sharp, but it's the kind that will rub you raw. So just be aware. And then it has this other little place where you can clip your bag charms or water bottle, whatever you want. But there you go. Reactive hipster and Heather Gray. So now I think I'm done with Heather Gray, like no more, I can't. Um, next item I got actually is a luggage tag and I got this because there aren't a lot of gray patterns. But I thought, you know, I like luggage tags on my backpacks. So I thought that was the closest one. To me, actually, it's not a perfect match, of course, but it'll work and that is, that is what I'll do. I'll put that on there. Next item, okay, let me start by saying today, again, the Vera Bradley non-medical masks, the cotton masks were restocked and sold out even faster than ever. I completely missed the boat. They were there for like five minutes, according to my friend. And I, I was there at like four minutes after 10 and they were gone. So um, I don't really have the magic thing on that, but you gotta stock that site and hope you catch it. I've been lucky twice and got all that I needed, but in my second haul, I did get my Holland Garden one. So that one did show up. So I have one in each pattern, which I mentioned before, but hadn't received yet. So if you haven't seen them, they just go on really nicely. They're, they're just cotton. There's no nose bendy thing here, so it's just loose. But if you wear glasses, it will fog up your glasses because there's an outlet there. So if you just put a little piece of tape here, it will keep your glasses from fogging up. So that's a nice little tidbit there if you didn't know that. I don't wear glasses, but I know that from working at hospital with goggles and things. Anyway, it fits really nicely. It's full coverage, very comfortable, and it's not right up against your face. So that is nice. And you also, because it has the open ends, you can put some extra filtration inside, whether it's paper towels, coffee filters, make something up, or an N95, whatever, you can do that. But today when they put out the mask, they came out with three new patterns. There's a Vines Floral, Night and Day, which is a black and white, and then they have Happy Snails. So three new patterns, six total, and they're all sold out. So I don't know, good luck, happy hunting. All right, since I use them all the time anyways, I did invest in them. I will get the other ones, I hope, someday. All right, this is a new piece, something I hadn't had it is the Lighten Up Shopper Tote, and it's Deep Night Paisley, of course. It's actually a very simple bag. So it's sort of like another version of a market tote. Totally different shape and size, but roughly the same capacity. I do love the Deep Night Paisley, the purples and teals and navy blue background. And there's your front, it has the tag. It is Lighten Up, but it's the kind of Lighten Up that has like that I want to say rubberized interior. So this bag is like full on waterproof. Um, it may be get wet and soak into the fabric on the outside, but it's not getting to the inside and vice versa. So I got this thinking this would be a great pool bag. 
or a swim bag, you know, so that anything that's wet isn't going to be bothering anything else in your car or whatever. There you go. Um, it is very simple though. It has two canvas straps, nice strap drop. It is a pretty roomy bag. I mean, there's the bottom and it's a tapered shape. So like here's your bottom and then see how it goes. Oh, I can't know if I can show you this. Not enough hands. I need two more hands. But you can see it kind of it goes out, so it's bigger at the top than it is at the bottom. Let me show you this way. See that? It's a couple inches wider on either side at the top. So it's kind of cool. I actually have an older market tote that was more like this shape back in the uh, midnight blues genre. Um, I haven't compared the two, but anyways, you get the idea. So folding wise, this came with the bottom folded. I think that's perfect for this bag. Just tuck the straps inside and it'll lay flat nicely. All right, that's it for that part. That was a separate haul. But today I got Vera Mail and this is kind of cool. So some more new things. Nothing super cosmic though. This first item is the Journal with Pen in Garden Grove. This is not my favorite pack. I think it's lovely. It's just not for me. And one of the things that I typically like, but I love the journal with pen. It's just a great size for a purse. And the fact that the pen's already built right in um, is perfect. So this is my fourth of these. I actually have a fifth on order as well. So there'll be more to come, but um, I just, I like the little notebook. It's a great size. Sort of like the size of the slim journal. It's slightly different, definitely thicker. Has a ribbon inside to mark your place and it has this elastic on top. So there you go. Next item, this is, what is this called? Waterproof foam pouch with lanyard. This is in Garden, Rosy Garden Picnic. All right, it is bright pink. I did not expect that. I mean, I expected it to be pink. Okay, I'm not, I'm not totally stupid, but I, I, it's brighter than I expected, but it's fine. You're not gonna lose that sucker, which is good. And then the, the lanyard is just the rosy pink, Rosy Garden Picnic type lanyard. Um, so it is, it's a lighten up lanyard, which totally makes sense for this object. I was kind of hoping that it would have like a, a removable, like put on a clasp or something that would hook on, but it's not removable. So I was kind of hoping it'd be multi-use, like you could use it as a regular lanyard and then you could also use it on here. That's not the case, but that's okay. I, I have one of these already, but because it is like a plastic or whatever, they will wear out um, over time. But I use these when I'm traveling, like when you go snorkeling or kayaking or things like that. But it's just these little rotate, you just rotate this little doofer on top and rotate the other side and it opens it up. And then this just opens, like separates from each other, the tag out of the way. And then you put your phone inside. When you put it back together, get in there. And then you rotate them back again Oh, this one isn't as slick as my other one. Uh oh. Is, I don't know why it's not latching, but oh, that's not good. Anyway, I'll figure that out later. But that's how you do it. You just rotate out to open and rotate again to close. And I don't, it keeps it sealed. So I wouldn't submerse it, but certainly your phone is safe for splashing and stuff like that. All right, four piece travel or four piece cosmetic, I always wanna say travel in there. How to get the Holland Garden, why? Because I have all the black and whites and the Holland Garden adds a little pop of color into those and I also have a bunch of stuff in Holland Garden so I thought it'd be a nice addition to the accessories collection. And there you go, so four pieces. We've seen these, I'm not gonna open it all up but you have your clamshell cosmetic which is one of my all time favorites. You have the, I'll call it a small roll, but your little brush and pencil thing, which I've been using for pens lately in my purse because I have a little variety of options. And then I have this medium cosmetic here. All right, next we got four towels because they're great for the pool and they're great for other things. But these are all the newer style. So two of them, I said it all, two are newer style, two are new patterns. This one is the double-sided beach towel in mint sea life. So let's take a look at this. I love the colors, blues and teals, so that's good. It is more plush than the regular ones. Um, I do like that. It does seem a little bigger also. 
And let's look at the other side. Sorry, my shirt's coming up. Do, do, do. There we go. And there's the other side. A little simpler pattern, but it is double sided, which is kind of cool. It's thin enough. You can actually see, it's kind of, you can see the other pattern through there. I'm not sure I like that aspect of it. Seems like it should be thicker, but it is nice. I do like it. And then this one, this one feels even thicker. Jackard. I'll let you see that. Jackard. Jackard beach towel. This is a navy and white with seahorse, of course. So this one I like actually more. It seems a little bit lusher, not terribly, but slightly. There's just seahorses, and on the other side, it's reverse pattern. So white with blue and blue with white, and that is definitely a navy. The other two I got were Sea Life and Mint Sea Life. These are the regular towels. They are smaller, not terribly, but slightly. At least it seems like it. You can put them side by side, but not that important. There's all the pretty colorful critters. And then the Mint Sea Life, which is the same pattern, but just in your blues and teals. So I kind of got like my little matching set of blues and teals. So great additions to the beach towel collection. And then I got two ditty bags. I got one in Seahorse, of course, and one in Holland Garden. Sort of rounds out the accessory thing. The other reason I got the Holland Garden was I thought those accessories and the Diddy would go great with the Heather Gray stuff. So to kind of mix and match, that also, it's great. Yeah, it goes perfect. And then the Seahorse, of course, I bought for me. I, I don't remember if I have one in my cyclic vomiting syndrome auction or not, but this one is for me. So if it's there, it's there. If it's not, I don't know, maybe later. Two blankets. I got Holland Garden and Deep Night Paisley. And they're both beautiful. I love the, the dark with the, the colors. Holland Garden has those subtle hints of color in it, like you can see right here. I call it subtly colorful. <laughs> kind of like cut vines in a different way though. But in the blanket, they're brighter. See that, the colors? are a little bit bolder, not quite as pastel-y. They are still subtle, relatively speaking, but you can see they're brighter, which I actually like. See, they, even with the glares and whatnot, you can see those colors better, relative to like the Diddy. And then the other one, the Deep Night Paisley, yeah, purples and blues, and teal. Yeah, these are plush throws, so they are, the softer ones. Um, so there's throws, there's plush throws, there's cozy throws. Yeah, cozy is my favorite, but I do like the plush ones and I do like the regular ones as well. So there you yeah, go. That is it for this haul. I do have some new stuff coming, is including um, some performance twill in the park stripe, which is exciting. And I am today considering ordering the new limited edition Pat Miller bag. So we'll see, that'd be cool too. But on those, in case you've seen them or are interested in them, as soon as you go to the Vera website, it's right there on the top, there's two pieces. It's the, like the old home and away, travel cosmetic, it's just called travel cosmetic. And then there's a Miller bag and they're in performance twill in a blue pattern, they're really pretty. And there's a little quote in the Miller bag from Pat Miller, which is really cool. It's one of her favorite quotes. And I like that, but they're limited edition, which if you look at the current coupons or any coupons, it does not exclude limited edition, at least on the ones I looked at. However, the coupons will not work. I even called customer service and they couldn't make it work. And even though it's not specifically excluded on the coupon, it's limited edition, so it's not gonna work. So, sorry about that. That sucks because they are pricey because they're performance twill, but anyway. Blah, blah, blah about all of that. I hope you're doing well, staying safe, staying home, and uh, thanks to all those who are doing what they're doing to help make the world a better place. Washi washi, take care. Bye for now.